Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video. My name is Floppy. I hope you are all having a wonderful day. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a waterfall inside your Roblox game. Just before the video begins, I'd like to announce that my Roblox game has now been released, Fish Magnet Simulator. The whole point in the game is you run around with a fishing net, collecting fish, which you are then able to sell for coins, then to purchase eggs, buy better buckets with more capacity, and also fishing nets that can give you a wider range. If you did want to go check out the game, the link to the game is in the description. A waterfall is a great thing to have in your game, especially if you are having a sort of a rock fall face or you've got a rock face in your game which is a little bit bland. You could use this in a realistic game as well as a cartoony game. So for starters, we do not actually need to go and enable explore and properties. I just always have my explore and properties enabled, but you don't actually need to go to your explore and properties. Now you want to actually go first to your plugins because we are going to be getting a waterfall from our plugins. Now if you don't already have a plugin called Generate Waterfall, Waterfall Generator, you want to head over to Roblox. So in today's tutorial we're going to be using Waterfall Generator by Woot3. As you guys can see I already own the Waterfall Generator because I've had this one for about 2 or 3 years now. Uh, but what you want to do if you don't already have this one installed into your Roblox Studio, you want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste or open up that link that is in the description that takes you to the waterfall generator. Then you want to install it into your Roblox Studio. You want to click install and then you want to head back over to Roblox Studio. Then you want to click on manage plugins and then your plugins that you have installed should be somewhere here and then you just want to make sure that it actually is enabled. As you guys can see there's a bit of a green kind of tick there or like kind of like slidey thing that you can move along and that will allow the, uh, the plugin to be somewhere on your top bar here. As you guys can see my plugins are quite full up here but all you want to do is just make sure that is enabled on your uh, waterfall generator as you guys can see it should look something like this uh, generates waterfall using the new beam effect adjust different parameters including the speed and width and quickly see your game come to life and as you guys can see I've got that enabled so you want to make sure that your waterfall generator looks like this in your plug manage in your manage plugins page once you've enabled your plugin you want to click over here and close over our manage plugins then we want to go over to our plugins and we want to find where our plugin is now now our one is the waterfall generator so we want to click on the waterfall generator and actually for this tutorial before we begin I'm going to be making a little bit of a a wall which will be our so called rock face now you would just put this in anywhere where you want the waterfall but I'm going to be using a little bit of a rock face and we can go change this to maybe like a dark something like that and we can maybe change the texture to a slate there we go now it looks a little bit more like a rock face now what we want to do we want to click back on our plugins generate waterfall and now we're able to adjust a couple things here so on default it will be set to everything in the middle here but I've already had a little bit of a play around to see what I like so what will happen on default is for you to actually place your waterfall you want to use your cursor and you want to go on and click on the starting point so if we go click there you'll be able to see our starting point is right there at the top of the slate now using our mouse we can move this around and as you guys can see the water is quite wide and it, it takes up quite a large amount of space and there isn't much customizations to it and that is because we have not customized it up here where as you guys can see we can move the upper width now every single time you do an adjustment here you will have to go and replace your waterfall because these adjustments here will not change what is currently happening here this is currently on the default adjustments which we had it before before we placed it now if we go and go back here and we click forward again so oh goodness me what in the world's going on here yeah just make sure <laughs> make sure you know what you're doing because it can get a little bit confusing but uh, let's quickly go put the slate back on here if we click slate and then we go to the generate waterfall and now let's say we go and change the upper width to something like that and we can also do the lower width to maybe something like that and we can also slow down the speed to maybe there and we can keep the transparency there and the softness we can keep it there just so we kind of know what it looks like so keep in mind this is for the style of realistic now keep in mind this is the style for realistic and if you are doing cartoon you can select cartoon and that will give you a more cartoony look to your waterfall but for this tutorial we'll try the realistic and then we'll go to the cartoon so we'll keep it on realistic but go and set your adjustments then if we click back on the top of our part just like right there and as you guys can see now our lower width is smaller than our upper width because this one is lower compared to the top one 
And as you guys can see, it doesn't take up the whole area. So you want to go and do some adjustments again. And maybe let's maybe increase it by that. And we'll do the exact same there. Now, if we go and click uh, back. Oh, goodness me. This is okay. It, it, the part doesn't need a texture. So you just kind of got to delete it. And by the way, the actual waterfall is placed inside your workspace. So you can always go move it at any time. Move it around. Move it into a part. Move it into a bit of terrain. You can really do whatever you want with it. So we can actually just go and delete that there. But as you guys could see, that kind of covered up most of the part. Now, if we had to go and increase the speed to max, and we keep it just how we had it, as you guys can see, the speed is a lot faster compared to before. Now, if we go place that, and then we go and click delete over here, and we do it on the slowest setting possible, you'll be able to see that the water is barely moving. It's just got a, like a, a little bit of a, a chase down, as you guys can see. And that kind of gives you a nice waterfall texture. And for some reason, it seems to be a bit bent here, but I think that's just how I placed it. Um, so what we can do, we can actually go and click there, close that, and then I'm gonna go and click it here again, and I'm gonna drag it down just like that. As you guys can see, it looks like it tends to bend when it's on quite an angle. So you do have to kind of have a little bit of a lookout for that. But to prevent the bend, all you do is you just go up here, click on that, and then you take it straight to the ground, just like that. As you guys can see, now there is no bend, and it's one simple thing like that. Now, let's say, and I did it again, I click Control Z, which you're not meant to do. Now, let's say we went to click on Cartoon. As you guys can see, now we're in this cartoon style. It gives us a lot more cartoony style waterfall. And as you guys can see, it's pixels instead of real life splashes. Same with the actual waterfall flow. It's it's arrows, it's not a water texture. And as you guys can see, it's much more cartoony compared to before. But all you wanna do, you just wanna go and change the adjustments here, the softness, the transparency, the speed, the lower width and the upper width to whatever, whatever would fit, fit your game best. If you've got a nice realistic game and you've got a really nice looking wall of waterfall area where there's a pond at the bottom and you've got a nice looking rock face a realistic waterfall would work absolutely amazing there so as you guys can see realistic and cartoon are the ideal ones you can have a little bit of a play around and see what this other one actually looks like but as you guys can see this one here it kind of gives a bit of more of a misty flow in a way pretty similar to the realistic one but you really just have a play around and see whatever works your best works best for your game so what I'm actually going to go and do I'm going to go and give you four options here because these are the options and show you all the different options you have to do with your terrain so if we click here and this is the original realistic one so I'm just going to put this here and actually let, let's go change that up hold up let me quickly uh, lower this because that's not ideal. There we go. If we put it something like that, then it all should look fine. But basically, I just want you guys to be able to have a clear idea on what we are actually working with and all the different type of options. Just so you can kind of stand back and see, okay, that looks quite nice. But as you guys can see, the further you move it away, it actually automatically fits to meet that style. So what we will actually do, we're just going to go and put it just like that because I feel that would be okay. So this is the realistic one. We'll go and do the cartoon one next on this one over here. There we go, just like that. And then we can go and do the subtle. We can put that there. To be honest, actually, now looking back at it, I quite like this one quite a lot compared to the pixel and the realistic. This one kind of has more of a misty flow. That's the only difference between them. But again, just changing around adjustments and that'll work. But now you can also go and customize and insert your own sort of waterfall texture so let's say you had a texture of a special cartoony waterfall which you had made by a professional graphics designer you'd go and click on the style here and then you'd click other and you can put in the waterfall texture so that will actually be the texture that flows down here and then you can also put the uh, the mist texture and i'm assuming you'd actually put your uh, image ids in here so you'd have to upload it to roblox and then you'd be inserting it into the waterfall just like that so if we click accept i don't think actually anything will pop down but because we don't have anything placed in there yet it'll just be a random boring looking shape that is that is hanging off the part but as you guys can see we have got our realistic one we've got our cartoony one we've got our subtle one and we have also got our other or custom one which you are able to customize but those are the four options of waterfalls if you guys are a little bit lost or you don't really know what you're doing feel free to create a ticket to my discord server and we will happily help you out but anyway guys i hope you did enjoy today's video if you did do consider subscribing to the channel turning on the notification bell i would really really appreciate it have a lovely rest of your day everyone and i'll see everyone 
in the next video.